Did you know that today in the next 5 to 10 minutes, you can create a fully functioning web app with AI? That too with zero coding required? You're probably thinking coding is hard and time consuming. Yes, it was, but not anymore. What you're about to see in this video will shatter everything you thought you knew about web development. And I'm going to walk you through a groundbreaking new AI tool that enables anyone to build and publish a web app faster than you ever imagined possible. So no more struggling to learn complex programming languages. No more spending hours writing code line by line and fixing bugs manually. By the end of this video, you will be able to use a cutting edge AI tool that I'm about to show you to bring your app idea to life. And if you watch the video till the end, I'll also show you how you can publish your app online for free. So keep watching. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. So to create a web application, we are going to do five steps. The first step is to create an account on Bolt AI. This is the tool that's going to help us build our web app and it makes everything so easy. It handles everything for you from creating the app to making it live online. To create an account on bolt.uai, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Now click get started and here you need to sign in with your GitHub account. If you already have a GitHub account, you can sign in here. If you don't have one, you can create an account by clicking here. As I already have an account, I'm going to use that. Now click authorize tag blitz and we are signed in. Okay, so now we have successfully created an account on Bolt AI. Next, let's go to step two, which is to create the web application. You can create a working web application just by giving a prompt here. There are still a few drawbacks, which I will discuss later in the video. So let's say you want to create a background remover web application that allows you to upload any image and then instantly remove the background. To do this, I'm going to enter a prompt which says include an image upload function, remove the background, display the results in a slight comparison and design a responsive professional interface that works smoothly on all devices. Once you've given the prompt, click here to start generating the application. And as you can see, the tool creates all the necessary files and writes the code automatically. You can even see the process right here. Once it is complete, you can see our web application is ready with all the features we requested. Okay, now that we successfully generated the web application, next let's test our app and see how it works. So let's drag and drop an image here. Now you can compare the result by moving the slider like this. But as you can see, the background hasn't been removed. The background wasn't just removed because the API integration services are not fully configured and the application still requires integration with the background remover service or the API to process the image correctly. So we are going to use a third party service to remove the background and in order to connect with that service, we are going to get an API key. An API key is like a unique code that allows an app to access and use a specific service or feature. To do that, let's go to the third step, which is to set up the backend services. First, we need to find a free background removal API provider by searching on Google. So I'm going to search on Google. So here you can see that we have an option called as remove.bg, which can remove backgrounds via an API. Remove.bg is a popular background removal tool and we'll be using its API key to integrate the services into our web application. And once we identify a provider like remove.bg, let's get the API key. To get an API key, click get API key. Then click here and click create API key. As you can see, we've got the API key. Now let's add this key to our app. So let's copy this. Go back to the tool. I'm going to ask the tool to set up the API integration with a dummy API key and then give me instructions on how to replace it with the actual API key. As you can see, it has started integrating the API by updating the code. Once that is done, the tool will show us where to insert the API key. So let's go to the code section, find .env file and here you can see the dummy API key that has been added. Simply select it, replace it with the key you just copied and click save. And that's it. We have now successfully set up the API integration services. Now let's check if the app works perfectly. Drag and drop an image and as you can see, the background has been successfully removed. You can use the slider to compare the before and after results. So our app is now fully functional. Okay guys, before we move on, let me show you a tool that will be a huge time saver if you're looking to write blogs. It's called Gravity Write. Just enter your title, click create outline and you've got an outline. Hit generate all and in seconds, 
you've got a complete blog with stunning images. Visit bearuptoday.com and get it for one full year at just $97. Okay, now let's go to the fourth step, which is to customize our web app. In this step, we'll make the app more user-friendly and professional by customizing its features. First, let me ask the tool to create a navigation menu and add some sample images for the testing. As you can see, the tool has generated a menu with three different pages. So let's quickly check them. And you can see it has also created the pages and the menu is working well. Now the tool has also added sample images to test the background removal feature. So if we click try this on any image, the background will be removed. Next, let's update the logo and the app name. So just like we did before, let's give the prompt. I've asked the tool to change the app name to Pix Arrays and replace the logo with the eraser icon. As you can see, it perfectly designed the logo and updated the name just like we asked. Once you've customized your app, to download the project, just click download and it will be saved to your computer. So now we have successfully customized the app and downloaded it. So let's go to the final step, which is to launch the web app. In this step, we're going to make the app live and accessible to everyone online. And to do that, just click deploy and it will start launching our web app. Once it is done, you can see that we have received a message saying our application has been successfully deployed. And this means that our app is now live on the internet and anyone can access it just by clicking on this URL. Let's click on it. And as you can see, our fully functional app is now live. Please note that since we published the app on Netlify without any backend server, the API key will be visible to the public in the source code. This means that anyone accessing the site can see and potentially access the key and can misuse it. To hide the API key and secure it properly, a separate backend server is required, which is not covered in this video. So I am linking to another video here that explains how to set up a backend server to protect your API key. For now, you can use this app for personal projects or share it with your friends. But it's not ready for production use or deployment to the customers. Once it is up, you can test it and ensure all the features are working as expected. Also, you can share the link with anyone and they can use it too. So this is how you can get a web application from scratch using AI. In the same way, you can create any web app you want just by using Bolt AI. Also note that this application will not have long-term storage. All the data will be saved locally. So when you refresh the page, the data will be lost. If you need to have long-term storage, you need to have a separate backend server and then connect the database to the server. Now, that is a more complex work but it is still possible with AI. You can let us know in the comments below if you're looking for a video like that. Meanwhile, Bolt is great for mainly front-end applications which you want to build for your personal use. But for more complicated apps, it'll take additional steps to get it working. And also, having knowledge in the basics of coding will also help you get more out of this tool. Before we move on, if you're looking to build and launch a WordPress site effortlessly, I highly recommend Webspace Kit because it offers free domain, free SSL with thousands of customizable themes and plugins. There's no coding required, plus you get a 10% off by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, now let's try to create another application and this time we'll create an AI chatbot like ChatGPT. So let's ask it to create an AI chatbot like ChatGPT with a green theme. You can see that it has generated the chat application and the UI looks great. Now to make the chatbot respond to our questions, we need to integrate with OpenAI which lets us access the AI language model and add the API key. As we did for the previous application, we'll ask the tool to set up the API integration with a dummy API key. Once the process is complete, let's get the API key. Now since ChatGPT is built using OpenAI, I'm going to get the API key from there. You can follow the instructions provided by the tool and get the API key. Once you get the key, just copy it and paste it on the mentioned path. Once you're done, save the changes. Now let's test the chatbot and see if it works properly. So let's click preview and you can chat with the bot and see how it responds. As you can see, it's working perfectly. 
You can also add more functionalities to your app. For example, let's add a feature that allows the users to upload an image and ask ChatGPT to analyze it. Once the feature is added, let's test it by uploading an image and asking a question. As you can see, the bot analyzes the image and provides the answer correctly. Similarly, you can add any feature you want and customize your app further. Once you're happy with the app, let's launch it online. And to do that, just click deploy. And that's it. Our app is now live on the internet and anyone can use it. A quick note to remember, Bold AI works on a token system. You get 1,50,000 tokens daily and each time you give a prompt, it uses some tokens based on your requirements. If you need more, you can easily upgrade your plan to get additional tokens. So that's it guys. This is how you can create a web app from scratch using AI. But before you go, don't forget to check out Gravity Right for all your content creation needs and Webspace Kit for a hassle-free website hosting. The links are in the description below and remember, Webspace Kit offers 10% off when you use our link. I hope you like this video and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.